Right folks, just a really quick one. Um, ones that have been watching my video, you'll, you'll know that this is my carrot box that I've built to keep carrot fly out and these carrots are for the show. We've got a village show, first weekend in September and I dug most of the soil and sand mix out and spread it on a bed and I only left about five or six inches in the bottom and I thought the winter would get to that and birds and pick any bugs out well I was wrong um, I've pulled about about 20, 20 carrots maybe 24 yeah sorry 20, 20, 20 about 24 so I've pulled some down the side and I've pulled some down there just to stop them all hanging out and plus just to look at them and the buggers have got carrot fly some of them at the bottom not at the top at the bottom of the carrot so obviously there's been some carrot fly eggs or larvae in the soil that I left in the bottom and then when I filled it back up they've stayed at the bottom and when the carrots have got down when they've grown down and reached them they've bored into some of them now not all of them and there has been some quite nice carrots actually um, I've got a dilemma do I pull them all and eat them because what I do is I cut them up blanch them and freeze them uh, or do I not have any for sure or do I wait and see and hope that I get six or even three untouched nice carrots out of them you know it really is a dilemma because I'm not doing it for the show I'm not a show veg person but I did want to have a go um, I have done it once before and, and I wanted to have a go and this was sort of like my best option. I'll just see if I can have a delve around. I'm going to pull one just to show you. You know, I've, they've got another month. God, the, the sun, sorry. They've got another month and they're lovely carrots. You know, they're lovely. I know that's a little bit bent at the bottom, but yeah. I think that one's got some as well. Just let me give it a wash. Let's see if I can do it. It's not easy one-handed. But what what makes me, well, what sort of tells me that the carrot fly? Look, yeah. I don't know if you can see there. It's in the bottom. It's in the sort of bottom third of the carrot, and this is what it's been like with most of the carrots. You know. So it's obviously in the bottom. If if it was this year's carrot fly that had got in the top, the carrot fly would be round the top. Surely, I mean, am I, am I wrong? You know, if the carrot fly had got in, would it not be around the top? So it makes me think that it's overwintered. I mean, this isn't as big. I know it because I can feel it, but you know. I'm going to pull a few more here and give them a wash. You know, they're, they're absolutely spot on carrots for eating. You see, out of them, let me give them a rinse again. I can't see any on them. I'm not easy doing this one handed. I need to get some kind of bipod, tripod, or whatever. So. walking about it's the only way I can do it so I mean that is perfect that's mint that 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 would make up a fantastic part of a group you know that's got a little bit on bottom most of them have got a little bit on bottom I'm gonna have to pull them out oh well right folks I think I've answered the question for myself aren't I it's uh, I can't I can't leave them for sure.
because I'm going to lose most of them. I'm going to lose most of my carrot, you know, or all of them. Oh well. Right. I, I think I am going to still upload this video because if anything I've learned is these carrot boxes, you need to empty them. You need to empty the soil out. Spread it on, like I spread them on, on the other beds over there. Spread it on your other beds over winter. Let the frost, the snow and the birds get at it and eat any bugs and maggots and, you know, eggs that are in there. Right, folks, thank you very much. As always, ta-ta for now.